Welcome back to another video. We're Logan and Jenny of the Two Traveling Kings, and today we wanted to walk you through our tiny home for the weekend. If you're new here, we're Jenny and Logan. We're a couple of American millennials with a passion for travel. We spent two months traveling to nine different countries on our way to live in Australia for a year. <laughs> We got to live and work in Sydney for a few months and really loved it. But then, COVID turned our world upside down. We had to cut our year in Australia short and head back to the US and we really don't know when we'll be able to travel again. This weekend, we are staying in a 16 foot Shasta Shasta air flight trailer, which we are dubbing our cute little tiny home in the woods. We've always been curious about tiny living, so before we committed to van life or anything we wanted to try it out so in today's video we're gonna tour you around our cute little temporary tiny home come with us so this weekend we are staying in an airbnb out in chapel hill north carolina so we're out here in the woods just about 10 to 15 minutes drive from downtown in unc and this cute little trailer is where we're calling home this weekend let's go check it out i feel like i'm on hdtv call me joanna games and here she is so as you can see it's got a retro aluminum two-tone red and white exterior which really adds to the charm and they definitely carried the retro theme inside normally you'd attach this guy to a truck or something I think he stays here permanently, but we've got a little picnic area and fire pit that we got to use. That's really all there is to the outside. The fun part is when we go in. Door number one, door number two. Come on in. Welcome to our tiny little home. that I am sitting on is the bed and couch combo. So you've got a lot of throw pillows. It's a probably full-size bed. So plenty of room to sit around, lounge, relax. It's kind of a nice reading nook. There's great windows and you get a lot of natural light. And then it's got a foam cushion on top. So it sleeps too as a bed. It's not the most comfortable bed in the world, but for the space, it definitely works. Now we're only staying here for a weekend, so storage really isn't a big concern of ours, but if you were using this guy as a longer term deal, there is some good storage. So above the bed you have these cabinets, and I'll show you one. They open up like that. Not a bad amount of storage. Blankets, pillows, sheets, whatever. And then, under the bed, there is a pretty good amount of storage. So right now they're keeping camper chairs there for sitting out by the fire, but you could definitely fit some clothes, shoes, bags, that kind of thing. And now we're moving into the kitchen, which is really just one step this way. Actually, it's a really decent sized kitchen. You have all of this countertop workspace that's clear, which is awesome. And then there's good storage too. So those are pretty normal sized cabinets. And under here, same thing. And then there's these drawers under the sink as well. And the sink. So it's a pretty good sized sink too. We're using this as a kitchen and bathroom sink. You've got your water, your drainage. And then if you move the macrame hanging, you also have a nice view. And moving on down the kitchen, my favorite part of this kitchen so far is this gas top range. It's got three burners, it's super easy to use and they heat up pretty quick so we've been able to make some eggs. You've got a fan, a light, honestly it's a really good size. And then moving underneath, you have a full size microwave. No oven in this bad boy but you pretty much have everything you need to survive for a few weeks cooking, cleaning, eating living. And right across from your sink and your stovetop and microwave, you have a mirror, but also a really good size refrigerator and 
tiny little freezer space. So this was a big surprise for us. We weren't even sure if we were going to have a refrigerator in this trailer, but this is awesome. I mean, look how much room you have. So you could definitely use this to live out of if you really needed a decent sized kitchen. All the other way down this side of the trailer, you have your breakfast nook. So we've been using this to eat breakfast and dinner last night, but it could also double as a really good workstation. So the table swivels, it's on an arm. You could probably put it down if you needed to, we just haven't had to. But the cushions are pretty comfy. This side's a little tight to get into if you're taller like Logan, but it's roomy and it's really nice to have a dedicated separate space to eat and work that's not the same thing as your bed because we've seen vans and tiny homes where you have to convert the bed to be the table and the couch and vice versa. And this really separates the space and it's a lot easier. So it feels roomy in here and it's pretty cozy. So let's talk about the technology in this camper. The perks of the location being next to a house is that we get to mooch off of their Wi-Fi and all the other modern conveniences. So we've got the TV here, it's got Chromecast, we honestly haven't used it because we've been trying to get out and explore, but if you did want to live in this thing for real, you would have access and room for a TV. We also have Wi-Fi, so that is connected around this corner over here, and it works really well, we're really happy with it, so it's very convenient. One of the parts of van life and tiny homes that we were really curious about was the whole bathroom situation. Some have them and some don't. If they have them, they come in varying degrees from just a portable toilet to a whole entire full bathroom. So let's check out what the trailer has. Right behind door number one. Not bad. So this trailer actually has a toilet and a shower. Now, let me get in to show you the size of it. It's not the roomiest bathroom in the world, but it's really convenient to have it right inside. So, Breaking up. <laughs> if you're claustrophobic, you might hate this, but it's really not that bad, especially since we fly on planes all the time, we're really used to it. But I'm about five foot six, and I barely clear the ceiling. Maybe I have like a half an inch, an inch, but I can stand here. Now, if I was trying to shower, um, I think I'd have to get really creative, but everything in here can get wet and there's even a little curtain. So it's definitely possible, but I think you'd kind of have to be pretty flexible. Now, as far as the toilet goes, I'm not sure exactly what kind of toilet this is, aside from the fact that it is flushable. So there's a little pedal under here. So basically we keep a little bit of water in it at all times and then you do your thing. And when you're done doing your thing, it goes down to refill it with more water you just lightly tap and you're good now the question you're probably wondering is that thing is really tiny and your toilet's right there doesn't it smell not really so we've got a window so that provides ventilation and that thing closes up it's really not bad the other thing I forgot to mention is they have thought of the organization aspect of it. So you've got your toilet paper right here on the door. And when it's time to go, you just close it. So you may have seen that bathroom and cringed a little bit or thought, wow, that's really small. I could never shower in there. Well, to be honest, we kind of thought the same thing. So again, the perk that this camper is located next to a house is that they have an outdoor shower set up. So that is what we used to shower. There was a little bit of a break in the rain, so we took advantage of it. It's pretty roomy, much more spacious than the shower that we checked out inside. And it's got working hot water, which is really awesome to be able to shower outside. If you ever grew up by the beach, you know how great an outdoor shower can be. To turn it on, there's a whole system with these and Logan figured it out for me this morning. It's not that hard and you're able to get hot water. So definitely a nice option to have. You do have the ability to shower in the camper if you want to, but when in the woods and when you have access to an outdoor shower, why not? So thank you, Jenny, for walking us through the Shasta trailer 16 foot camper van.
Of course. Air flight. This is new to us, Tiny Living. Let us know in the comments if you've done Tiny Living before, what you yeah. think of this place. Does it have all the amenities that it should? We don't know. It's been fun, <laughs> but I don't know if we could do it long term. Yeah, it's definitely part of the reason we wanted to test out the waters to see if we had what it takes because it's it's a different lifestyle. You really have to commit to it. And we're enjoying it so much so far. We spent one night and one morning, but I don't know. I think it would take a little bit of adjustment to lifestyle and habits to be able to make it work. A lot of thought goes into every move, yes. getting in each other's way. There's a lot of things you have to uh, adjust to. We've just been saying, get out of the way. Move. <laughs> So a fun weekend trip. Thanks for watching. Please like if you enjoyed the video. Comment below and subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you next time.